so what's up guys welcome to another video today we are going to create a read more button so as you can see that we have a paragraph here and after the paragraph we have some dots and also it's saying that read more if you want to read more the text or the paragraph you can click the button so what you can do actually if I click the button now I don't have the dots and I also have the full text of our program so as you can see I also have the read less button so whenever I'll click it will go back to the initial state of our program so that's what we are going to make in this video hope you will like it so no more talk let's dive into it So today is the day 9 of our 30 days 30 submits and for the day 9 we are going to create a read more button. So if you are interested to check out all this repo or all these submits that I did before you can check out this repo I will link it in this description. So check out and if you come please give it a star and you can check out all these things that I did in this 30 days 30 submits challenge. So let's get back to our code here. So in our HTML, first of all, let's create a boilerplate. And here, let's say that in the body, I will have just a h1 tag. And after that, I will have a paragraph, which will have a something like 100 word. So you can just say something like bu toggle wrap. So it will wrap the all word as you can see and you can see all the word that we have in the project. So now in the program let's say that I want to hide this amount of word when we will initially see this program. So what I need to do actually I need to wrap this word in a span. So let's do that. So create a span and here just cut the closing tag. And just paste it here so now we wrapped all this word with this span and in this span I will have a class something like more text and in this program I will also have a class something like text and also we will have a button in the end of our program which will say something like read more button so let's get a button here and also let's have a class here so class will be read more buttons. So that's the class for our button and for the button text I will just say that read more. So now if I save and refresh we can see the text and the button. So after that let's come here and link our style sheet. So link CSS and now we have the style sheet linked in our HTML so in our style sheet first of all let's come to the body and let's say that font family will be the Montserrat so I already have the Montserrat so Montserrat and text align will be center so not center actually let's say that justify and max width wanna have 600 pixel and margin 0 auto and background color so I will have a blackish background color and the color will be the white. So let me copy the color and paste it here and the color will be the allies blue. So now as you can see that we have a black background and also we have the allies blue color in the font. So after that let's come to the text which is the paragraph. So class text and here I will just increase the font size. So font size will be 24 pixel sorry 24 so now we have something like this amount of font and after that we want to hide the more text so I want to hide this amount of text so that's why I just did a wrap with the span now I can call the span and hide those text so hide those text so more text I want to just say that display will be none so now as you can see that we can't see those text anymore and after that what I need to do actually I need to just style this read more button so for that I will just say that read more button I wanna have padding something like 15 pixel and 16 pixel 
so I have 50 pixel padding in the top and bottom and 60 pixel padding in the left and right so after that let's have a background color of something with RGPM so I'll have a white background so just copy the color and paste it here and also for the color I will have a black background color so also let me copy the color for you so just I will have something like that for now and also let's say that border will be none and also the outline will be none and I want to increase the font size so let's say that 20 pixel yeah good for now and that's it for now and also let's say that cursor will be the pointer perfect so now when I will click this button I want to show more text from here so for that what I can do actually in our main JS so before that let's add the JS file here so script source main JS so in our JS file what I need to do so in our JS file first of all let's just grab the button so constant so I can just say read more button so read more button read more button and I want to grab the button so document dot query selector and for the button I will just call the button class so read more button and after that I will have a constant for our text which is the paragraph actually so I can just say document dot query selector and just we will select the text so what I can do now whenever I will click the read more button so I just can say that read more button at even listener and I want to listen an event which is the click event so whenever I click the button I want to run this function so in this function I will also pass the event here so now we can use this event inside of our function so the first thing that I want to do is the I want to toggle a class in our text paragraph so for that I can just say class dot sorry text dot class list dot toggle so the class will be the show more show more so this class will toggle in our text so let me check so whenever I will click it should toggle in our text so not here in the body we have this text and whenever I click as you can see that we have now show more and whenever I will also click it is just removed so it is having the toggle effect here so now we have the class which is show more and which is toggling here whenever I will click the read more button so what we need to do so I need to do something like here in our CSS so let's say that whenever we will have the class show more in our text show more so I wanna do something like in our span which is the this one so let me check so I wanna do something with this more text so more text I wanna say that display will be inline so I'll just save it now if I click it as you can see that it's now inline whenever I'll also click now it is in our previous state as you can see now we have the less word and whenever I click we have the more word actually as you can see so that's what we have now and that's it actually the idea how you can make the read more button and also let's also change the text in our this button so whenever I'll click it should say something like read less so for that in our function what we can do actually I can check the text here which is the read more text so let's say that if the button text means our read more button dot inner text equals to read more so read more so if it is read more I wanna have something like I wanna change it to read less so for that I just can say button dot inner text will be read less and also we will do opposite in our else just copy and paste and make it read more so read more 
so now if you can see that it is saying a read less i just click it's saying that read more so what is happening here if you can see that we are checking the read more text so whenever i click it will check for the read more text so if it is read more so whenever i click it is saying that read less so that's what i am doing here so now after that if i click so it will also check for the read more so but we don't have the read more text in our button now we have the read less so it will go and apply the else statement here which is making the read less to the read more so that's it as you can see now we have the read more button perfectly going on here so also if you want you can add a dot here some dots so let's show you so here before our more text span i will also have another span here so just have a span so a span and in this span i will just have the dot so let's have three dots here and i will have a class for it in the span which is the dots so whenever i will have the dots in our style.css just save it so if you can see that that's the dot we have now so just say that whenever we will have the show more in our text i wanna disappear the dots so dots display none so now as you can see that we have the dot and whenever i will click this read more button we don't have the dot anymore so it's working perfectly so now as you can see we have a perfect read more button going on here so you can add as many words as you want so let's also add more words here so lorem so now i have so many words here so whenever i click as you can see that i can see all the words now and whenever i click it's saying that read less so it's working perfectly so that's it for our this little video i hope you like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel because i make this kind of video if you like to see more videos like this one please subscribe to see those upcoming videos so my name is alfan and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye kodahafis